All right, progress has finally been made. I've been making progress on this one. Once I got the paint issues all sorted out, I was able to get to it and get this. Get progress made, as you can see. I'm almost actually done with it. Uh, probably a couple of days and I can uh, maybe wrap it, wrap it up and call it completed. First off, I did go ahead and I went and painted everything TS44. It just seemed like the smarter thing to do because it would everything was going to match a little better than my initial plan. I guess we'll start. We'll take a look at the chassis, what I've done so far on the chassis. Overall, for a uh, curbside kit, the detail is really decent uh, on the chassis. And, uh, yeah. You know, the only thing being molded in is the engine and transmission. Everything else is separate, so really it makes it look like it's a uh, full uh, engine detailed kit. So very, very impressed. Uh, I'm happy with how it turns out. Turned out. There's a few bits I have to finish putting on, but other than that, it's pretty much complete. A lot of holes to drill on the chassis uh, because it's being shared with the uh, street version, the stock version. So there's the holes you have to. Drill out. They're real easy because they're just basically flash covered. Uh, just, I mean, I, with one and a half turns of your pin vise and you're through. So real easy. Uh, but there are a lot of them to drill. And actually, a lot of them. Uh, there's a lot on the um, interior as well. There's a few on the interior that you have to drill out as well because it's being shared with the uh, obviously with the uh, street version, stock version too. The interior, nothing special to be honest. Uh, just. Uh, just got it finished. Um, didn't spend a whole lot of time, you know, make detailing it, if you will, just put it together and calling it good. Uh, the seat, I will point out, is not the correct color. Uh, it, it wanted, you're supposed to mix up this uh, a blue. I don't even know what type of shade of blue it, it's supposed to be. I didn't even bother. I, and I don't know if anybody else is even going to notice. Uh, from even the pictures I'm going to post, hey, that seat's not right. You needed to paint it this blue. So I just went and painted it black, called it a day. Yeah, okay. So that is the uh, interior. And let's get to the body. I spent last night decaling the body. And I think at this point I'm pretty much done with the decals. I think all the main decals, I think all the decals uh, have been applied. There's some other decals on the sheet, but I don't think they, but they don't. Uh, very variation decals of some of the ones that are already on, so they're not used. I do believe, for the most part, all the decals are done, uh, which is good. All right, got to clean up the body a little bit, you know, water spots and what have you. But over overall, the it's uh, pretty much done. I think I need to go over the, some of the, the panel lines and stuff over uh, over the door handle with some more uh, decal solution to get it to sit to uh, sit down, and get the decal to conform a little bit more and. I go over it, go over the panel line again. I did cut the decal, but as you can see, it's not 100%. So just little things I left to do, and uh, I can get this one wrapped up, which is, and there's the uh, the front end. So I'm almost done with this one, which is good because the build off uh, that I'm doing this for, I believe, ends uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. here at the end of the month. I'm um, cutting it close. I think that's where it's at. So the next, the next uh, update should be of it being completed.